going from this to this. According to developers, this could be the future of Lutherville Station, turning this old mall into a town center, which would include apartments, offices, retail, and restaurants. Mark Renbaum, the Lutherville Station developer, calling it a quote, once in a generation opportunity. To make that a reality, they just submitted an amended application to Baltimore County. There's got to be something done with that property. With a rail station right next to the mall, even though they don't have the right zoning with the county to move forward, they say they'll be able to move forward with the project when a new state law goes into effect. We will incentivize new housing that's affordable. We will streamline the building process and we will make it easier for Marylanders to become homeowners. The Housing Expansion and Affordability Act goes into effect at the start of next year. It allows for higher density developments near transit hubs. They say that would allow them to build up to 1,300 apartments. The bill targets these often blighted properties. Well, they don't plan to build that many. With their amended application, they're proposing to build 560 apartments, which is 110 more than they initially proposed. While some say it will create more housing and benefit the community and local economy, Eric Rockle, the vice president of the Greater Timonium Community Council, says he's disappointed with the development. We had told him previously that the number in the original application was too high and so what does he do he, he raises it to an even higher number that was very disappointing while a spokesperson for lutherville station says they're working with the greater timonium community council we've had discussions with mr renbaum but ultimately in the course of any time we have a discussion we make the point that he's got to bring the number of units down and so you know, it was clearly evidence that he's not listening very closely. Rockle says they don't disagree with redeveloping the area. They just don't want to see that many apartments, worrying about the impacts it could have on traffic, schools, and the community. Have a greater concentration on commercial and office space and a lesser number of apartments. This would surely change the character of the immediate Lutherville community. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.